Hi guys, thanks for coming back to my YouTube channel. I have been crafting, and if you see right here, I have learned how to make these envelope bags. I guess they've been very popular in the paper craft um, area already since about a year or so ago, but I just found out about them. Um, and this is what I've have a couple of other ones, but I'm not going to show that because it is for actually a swap that I'm getting ready to do. So I'm not going to show those until I show you the video of all the goodies to go with that swap. But anyway, I just wanted to come in and give you a really fast tutorial on how to make these. There's tons of other videos out there. Uh, something 100. I am so sorry, I should have wrote her name down. Um, actually is the one who did this. I guess people have been going out buying cards and decorating them really big and then they can't use their envelopes. So they started using the envelopes for bags. And I thought it was a really good thing. So you just go, um, and it looks kind of like a french fry thing, I think. They said to do about a one inch, um, oh, uh, where you would take your bone and, and score it. I don't have a bone. My, it's actually at my mom's house. So I've just been using my, um, I do have a score on my ch chopping thing here. <laughs> and so... Um, but this one, I think I went a little bit less. I think I went like a half instead of a full inch. And it gave you a little bit, I feel like it gives you a little bit more room. Maybe not. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and do this one a full inch. And then it's a really thin envelope. So you do want to be careful. Don't be heavy. I mean, if you're having the thicker envelopes, that's a different story. But um, that's all you do is just score it. I don't know. See how, I, like I said, I don't have my bone here. So um, you do might have to score it twice. I hate having to score twice. Um, so you do want to give it a good score, but you don't want to go too heavy handed on it, though, either. I'm trying to stay. I'm having to try and still learn how to film. I need to get me like a, a tall camera thingy instead of just a tabletop one. Okay. Um, and then some people have been decorating them with uh, paper and stuff like that. I left my pink one just plain. And just decorated it because, and then I just flipped over the the back part of the envelope because it was already decorated it, and just made it have a little bit more of a a bling to it. Um, here's one of my envelopes I had. Um, I don't know. I think I got these at Michaels like a year or so ago when they, in that dollar fifty bin. Um, they might have been dollar fifty to two dollars, but they were on sale at the time when I got them for like 75 to 50 cents and I found them in my stash and I was like oh that'd be cute so anyway you just score it um it did take me a little bit of time to figure this part out for some reason but you just kind of push it in until you make like the bottom you just gotta play with it sorry guys I'm trying to do this on camera but it's really hard I tried to get my daughter to film for me, but she was like, no, I don't want to film. So, I was like, okay, fine. Anyway, that's all you do. Some people can do these a lot easier, but for some reason, I struggle with this part. But I don't have a bone. I need to get my bone from my mom's house. She bought me one. And then you just push this part down to make the little uh, cat ears, if that's what you want to call them. Um, now, everybody's been using hot glue guns 
or double sided. I used the hot glue, but like she says, it does get hot, so do be careful so you don't burn yourself because it does get hot. This one's not going to turn out very pretty. Yes, I have a hard time with these ears for some reason. That's what I'm going to call them. I'm going to call them ears. Ouch. Like I said, girls, it's hot, so do be careful. Um, if yours doesn't want to sit like mine because of my ears are all messed up, you can take some paper and glue at the bottom to kind of help it and give it a little bit more of a, of a uh, sitting firmness. I don't think I have anything already cut, so I'm not going to worry about it because I want to show you kind of how to decorate it. Um, and then I am going to actually give my um, thing a little cut here. And I am going to do this. I'm going to flip it over like that. So it's kind of like that. Oh, I wish I had a card. One of my other card thingies to hold that to glue so it would stay. Oh, there it goes. All right, I have some of this pink ribbon I'm going to put on here. Um, this is just the probably Christmas Walmart ribbon is all I'm going to use. I'm just going to take it, hot glue, get it even here, hot glue it right here at the bottom is what I'm going to do, right here. And for just time's sake, I'm just going to do the front part of it. I just want to give it a little bit of decoration so you guys kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. It's really easy. Ow, but just be careful with the hot glue because it is hot. Woo. Okay, so we got some little decorations on there. I picked up these uh, my, uh, at the Dollar Tree yesterday, and I've been using them on another project I've been using. But I thought I will throw some of these on there too. But I am gonna use. I picked up these at Tuesday morning yesterday. I did not do a haul on any of this shopping I did yesterday because I got home late and. Guys, it was hot yesterday, y'all. Here in Kansas, it finally decided to become summer. I thought these were really cute. Um, there's like some pink here. I thought this right here would bring out that pink. So we'll put that one there. And since this one has a little bit more pink, to like that one, we'll put it up here. So... Um, and since I did this little thing here, let's take some of this ribbon. Mm, that looks about good. I'm just going to guess. If I have to, I can trim it off. I'm going to put some glue here. Yeah, I'm going to trim some off. And put some glue here. It's really fun, actually, and they're really addicting. I, like I said, I made four for my um, swap undoing with our... Uh, I am horrible with names, guys. Don't ask me. Oh, Lord. Okay, and then I'm going to put this white little flower right there. I know it's kind of plain. But I have found lately I've been doing a lot of more plain things. I don't know. I don't really like that one there. So I'm going to take that one back off. And I think I'm going to do these. Let's do some more ribbon on top there. Okay, let's go. Let's put 
put some ribbon right here. Then right here, some hot glue. You know what I need to make me guys next? Is one of those hot glue gun uh, holders that everybody's been making. They make them with the Dollar Tree stuff. I've watched a couple. I just need to do it. Oh, I think that looks so cute. But let's actually move this flower now. Let's move it right in the middle. Okay. Oh, yes. You know, that kind of reminds me of... Um, Mother's Day, at Mother's Day, you, you could do, the, or for like a little girl's birthday or something. Okay, well there's my back, and there's my front, and I hope you guys like this. I will be coming out with another video here pretty soon to show you guys. I did tell you guys I would be doing a giveaway when I hit my 100 mark, and because you guys went way above that i am now 105 on my prescribers i went and got some extra little goodies to go with my giveaway so i will be coming out with that video here pretty soon but i did want to come in and show you how to make these cute little bags and you can uh people have been making them for all kinds of holidays you can just type in um envelope bags and you'll get all kinds of stuff. Like I said, people have been putting uh, scrap papers and all kinds of stuff on theirs. Um, I did not like it with the scrap paper. I tried and I ended up throwing both of mine away. I was looking to see if I could find it. But thanks for uh, joining me. And you guys like these videos, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let's try to see if we can get to 150 subscribers before Christmas so I can do another giveaway around Christmas time or sooner. Thanks guys. Have a great day. God bless you.